you can see another video. Today we're going to talk all about how to lock your bike properly. This might sound very simple, uh, but when I first got my road bike um, and a lock and a D-lock, I ended up locking it to itself. I didn't realise until I got back and I was like, oh, my bike wasn't actually locked or anything, which is ridiculous. So I thought I would just make a video just, just trying to help prevent you getting your bike nicked because I was very lucky that mine did not get nicked. I'm very happy because the locks that I have been using which are made by Hiplock um, and Hiplock now are a sponsor of my channel so really happy about that. They have been using their locks for probably the past two years so yeah I'm really excited about that because like they do have like loads of different locks but one particular lock which I'll show you in this video is genius, absolute genius. I love it so I'll, tell you, I'll explain about that later on. I personally choose somewhere that's really busy, that's bustling, that's got loads of light, that's got security cameras. I'm filming here today somewhere a little bit out of the way because we were gonna film in the center of Manchester and it's so noisy and so busy you couldn't have, you wouldn't have been able to hear me. Testing, testing. How good is the audio? Is it really noisy? Or... I'm just filming this because it looks nice. So I wouldn't necessarily choose somewhere like it's a little bit quiet. Um, so go somewhere that's really busy. Um, and the reason for that is because I used to think, oh, if it's busier, it's more likely someone's going to see your bike and want it. But actually it's not because if there's more people wandering around, these are going to be put off by other people being around. So always go for somewhere that's quite busy. If you're going to be leaving your bike for a significant period of time, I would always go for a sold, secure, gold rated lock. So that is just basically a rating system across lo lots of different lock brands um, and it's classed as the best, the most secure and is gonna take the most amount of time for a thief to try and actually get through that lock. So the one that we're gonna be using today is the Hiplock DX Plus. I've been using this for oh, a good year now maybe and I really like it and one of the things that I do like about it is I always prefer a D-lock if I'm going to be somewhere busy just because they are more heavy duty I don't know I just I just feel like they are really secure um, but they can be really heavy and bulky whereas this one is just weighs over just over a kilo um, and you get a really thick cable attached so you can attach your wheel to it as well and one of the other things that I like about it is it's got a double anti-rotation locking feature which is a bit of a mouthful, but what that basically means is the way that the lock actually works is fixed together. The ends have been squared and actually the lock, kind of the lock end, not the D part, the other end has been squared inside. So when the actual lock fits and is locked, if that makes sense, it's, it's really tight in. So for example, if a thief was to cut one side of the D lock, they can't just kind of twist it round um, and just, kind of ease your bike out of it they would have to cut both sides because it is locked in so tight which I think is just a good feature of it. So when you're locking your bike you either want to lock it to the top tube or the down tube they're the, they're the ones that I prefer. I do prefer the down tube just because there's kind of then less space if someone is trying to hack it because it's such a small area. If you did want like extra security, I want to show you this product. I don't know if you've seen it already, but this is the thing that made me find out who um, Hiplock were. This product is genius. I love it. It's my favorite lock. So this is a Z-lock. It is basically a steel cable tie. They do have it in a key version with a lock or a combination. I prefer combination because I'm just terrible at losing keys. So I prefer just having the combination version. And I do have a bit of a, a love of zip ties. I think it comes from my dad. My dad is obsessed with zip ties. He will fix anything with a zip tie. He has fixed uh, parts of my car with a zip tie. He's fixed his glasses. He has the zip broke on his overalls. He's got like a little zip tie on there now. So I do love a good zip tie. So with this, I would put this um, in addition on my rear wheel. The reason that I would put it on my rear wheel is because it has a cassette on there and it's a more expensive wheel to replace if someone does come and steal it. So um, the reason that I like this as well is because it is a zip tie, you can make it really tight onto the wheel um, and the frame of your bike. So that if anyone is trying to cut it off, they're not able to kind of get the get the little hackers underneath it. Hackers, what they're called? I don't know, clippers. I've never tried to steal a bike. Um, 
so yeah that's why i really like this and this is what i also take on audax rides i basically just put it around um, my saddle bag and then if i ever if i'm ever i can't even speak if i'm ever nipping into a cafe i just chuck this on the bike and yeah this is a brilliant cafe lock um i actually prefer this to act to the little kind of cable lock just because you can get it so tight around the frame so yeah i'm gonna chuck this on now So I hope you found that video helpful. Um, if you've got any other tips on bike security, then leave them in the comments. Um, as always, every day over this 10 day um, video series, I'm giving away a copy of my ebook called Cycling Made Simple. It's just a, a guide to everything that you would ever need to know if you are kind of new or getting into cycling. Um, so yeah, all you need to do to win a copy is just leave a nice comment. Just anything nice, a nice comment. Just something about your cycling journey, something that you've learned, something that other people would maybe get use out of. So yeah, that's all you need to do. And I will see you tomorrow for another video. One last thing to remember, this is almost too simple to mention what I need to mention it. Make sure that you take everything off your bike when you go wherever you're going, because the amount of times I've walked back to my bike and realized that I've left my Garmin on there, all, that, all my Wahoo that I use now, I was like, how did no one steal that? Like, I'm an idiot for doing it. So just make sure that you take everything off your bike as well. So just a little, little friendly reminder to not be as daft as me. Because one day it's going to get nicked and I'm going to be mad at myself. So don't be mad. Just remember to take everything off your bike. Even war balls. People nick anything these days. Take everything you can off your bike. Okay. See you next video.